gardeners and maybe soon greenhouse gardeners who knows we're going to talk today about how i did the floor for my greenhouse and why i chose to do it that way all right for the record this is a pal ram hybrid six by eight greenhouse and i planned this out specifically for a number of reasons one is i planted in ground because of the way i'm going to garden in here so i just kind of dug out for the foundation you can go back and look at the foundation video i did and you can see that i dug out all the way around and it's about four inches deep or so and then here i just kind of left it so that i could plant in this area but here all i did is super simple is i left a two foot wide by four foot I think it's four foot long path in here just so I could get in here, walk in, do a little work. You know, I wanted it wide enough so I could sit down and really get down into the ground. And if you see here, I just dug down and I put some weed fabric down, which I'm not normally a big fan of, but for this I did because I didn't want a lot of weeds growing in here. And then I got a couple bag of this rock and threw it down. Now there's a reason why I did that. So one was obviously for weeds, and you can see like, yeah, you get a little bit, but I think this might be the fifth weed that I pulled out. You know, it's nothing major. And all that is is over time, soil will fall on top of here, and then the seeds will fall, so you'll get them to grow, but they won't really penetrate this weed fabric. They'll just kind of spread out. So you've got you, you've to kind of take care of it every once in a while. Two, the other reason why I used the rock was for a simple thing called wetting down. And so what that is, is, if the greenhouse gets really hot, what I can do is I can wet down the greenhouse and the rock will actually reflect the water and the coolness back up. And I use white rock, as you can see, because it reflects the light. So it doesn't absorb the heat in the summertime and in the spring, because here in my area, I'm in zone 8A, we can have our winters, we can have 60 degree days in the middle of winter, which seems really nice. But if you've got this bad boy sealed up, it'll get 85 in there. And you don't want that because this is what happens. You get this bolting. Okay, this is all gone to seed because of the temperature fluctuations. That's why I call this the heartbreak zone if you're a listener to the Backyard Gardens podcast. But it happens every year. And it's caused me to kind of adjust the way I do it with the way I use this greenhouse. But... By reflecting it, you keep that heat down. That's the trick. And then wetting it down will help cool it off a little bit too. And it won't hold water and get soggy right here. You don't have the huge humidity fluctuation issues that you have to deal with and control. Because that's not what you want to deal with. You don't want to deal with an overly humid greenhouse. Now, if I had power out here and I was running fans and stuff, it'd be a different story maybe. I'd probably still do the same thing but leaving the door open helps. But that's why I use rock in there and just that a little bit of weed fabric right in the middle. It's not my most favorite thing to use, but at the same time, I'm not trying to enrich that soil underneath the pathway. So it's just a pathway, that's it, nothing else. It means nothing else to me. So those, that's an easy way to do it. Now you can put cobblestone down, you can make like, uh, like patio bricks, stuff like that. You can do a lot of different things and get more complicated but for me it was all about the ease i got the thing up and then within i think 15 minutes i had the pathway built there you go and i didn't have to overly level it or anything like if i was putting on any brick now the brick would look better but i like this i'm good with it it's easy it was cheap and it's functional and that's what it's all about it doesn't have it's a workspace it's not a museum it doesn't have to be beautiful so that's kind of how i look at it but um, yeah, when you're building your floors for your greenhouse, I hope that you can find this useful. And if you're using anything else for your floors in your greenhouse, let me know. You know, I don't think I would change mine, but you never know, I might. So um, everybody take care. Check out the Backyard Gardens podcast twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays right here on YouTube, available everywhere you listen to podcasts. See ya.